I'm on the bus back home from work and this guy starts blasting his music. <laughs> Usually I give people a pass while traveling. But like I said, I had a really bad day. My blood started to rise. Still, I held it off. Wait for the song to end and it will all be over. And then the second song started. <laughs> and by the end of the third song, I was standing next to him asking, could you please lower the music or turn it off? He looked me up and down. And he said, faggot. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wow. Well, my temper hasn't been my strong suit, especially when my heart is pounding through my chest. I've really worked hard on it. I was, I was frozen between my heart begging to attack and my brain calling to defuse the situation. Now, 10 years ago, my brain would have agreed with my heart, which shows how hard it was for me to reply with, okay, do as you please. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. And I sat back down. <laughs> my heart was pounding with the music echoing through the bus, creating a symphony for five stops. I exited my situational hell and the devil followed. What are you gonna do now, punk bitch? I just kept walking. One man is gonna set me back a year. Not when I've worked so hard. Yo, faggot, bitch, what are you gonna do now, bitch? I'm sorry, I really am, but my heart won. The old Michael was back. I'm so happy to see you here, my friend. He looked at me and he said, oh yeah, why is that? And I said, because now we get to play. He said, play, play what? You crazy, yo? And I walked towards him and I said, Play your music, play it, play your music. Let's listen together. What? He said, play it, play it, play it. I said, this guy looked at me and turned red all over and he started backpedaling and I continued, you want this? You want this right now? Hmm? Come and take it, take it, play it and take it. And he took off running. Thank God, thank God he did. Because I don't think my heart or my brain would have stopped me. And that would have been really bad for the both of us 